Good morning, traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. We have reached the last trading day in the week, and this morning the euro is stronger again against the US dollar. It is creeping above the 130 level of the trading down to 129.40 during the day yesterday. It is the positive effects of the bailout arrangement for Greek debt that is now strengthening the euro, uh, along with the fact that the German parliament today probably is going to then approve these measures. In the United States, the markets were very nervous yesterday. It was in and out of positive and negative territory. Dow Jones and Nasdaq ended at the end both in positive territory. And Dow Jones passed again the 13,000 uh, critical mark. Uh, the um, stock markets in Asia continues to thrive. Uh, all the uh, Asian uh, stock exchanges are up this morning. Especially strong is the uh, Nikkei uh, boards in uh, Tokyo, helped by uh, surprisingly good uh, uh, industrial numbers, industrial production numbers from Japan in October. They were up 1.8%. Also, there are continuous talk about the stimulus package from the Japanese government that is helping the stock markets and taking the yen down. Yen, US dollar, is uh, trading again around 82.50. It means that it's moving in between the 81-83 corridor that we have seen established over the last couple of weeks. The oil prices are steady, uh, around 110 US dollar a barrel for then Brent crude, uh, and of course the, uh, uh, violation, the, uh, the violence in Syria, escalation of the war acts, and also the very, uh, very uh, uh, interesting and difficult situation in Egypt is then also weighing in on the oil prices and uh, are threatening to have a disruption in the oil supplies. Gold is uh, coming back again uh, during yesterday and today. It's now trading at 17.26. Uh, it's up $20 from uh, yesterday, but still down $25 from its peak earlier in the week. I wish all of you a very good trading day and a good weekend from United World Capital and Cyprus.